another makes video. These are the kinds of moments when I pull everything that I made for the month, lay it all out and get ready to talk to you guys about it. I'm like, you know what? I was productive. As you may have seen or read or heard, <clears throat> I have been sick pretty much the entire month of July. It's been one of those sicknesses though where I have felt terrible, but I've still had a lot of energy. Not really sure what's going on there. It was like all my sinuses, chest congestion. I had an ear infection at one point, but I still had tons of energy. It wasn't like I was just laying around feeling terrible. I was just doing things and suffering <laughs> at the same time. So when I went to pull everything together for this mix video, I was like, you know what? Considering all that, I still got a lot done and I'm really proud of it. So let me show you everything that I made. We're gonna start off with Sew Together 21 for this month was a little hat pattern. And I wanted to push myself and everyone else sort of out of our comfort zones and make a cute little hat. I'm gonna have more information on this for you guys. Um, isn't it great that my little top knot fits inside? <laughs> I don't think that's what it's for. It's just very tall. Um, because I am hearing and reading and seeing that a lot of people are having fit issues with this, which I mean, it's supposed to be adjustable. So you shouldn't be making hats that are too small. And most people are making ones that are too small. Also, this is considered an advanced beginner pattern. And as I was sewing it together, I definitely agree with that based on how they've done the instructions. But I think that we can easily make this a beginner pattern. So I'm going to kind of give you some tips on how to um, construct this in a way that's much easier for a beginner sewer and all of that kind of stuff. So that'll be up in a couple of weeks. But it is really, really cute. I absolutely love it. It's great for the pool, great for gardening, great for like, you know, going to your kids' soccer games or any of that kind of stuff. Um, kind of. With that, but not really, I may, I finished up my um, swim pool, beach, lake, body of water, swimsuit cover-up tutorial series. I did four tutorials on how to do swim cover-ups. The first three were really easy, very beginner friendly. Um, you saw two of them in the makes video, or yeah, the makes video last month. And um, I finished up the other two this month. This is one of them. Like this is literally how easy it is. It's a rectangle of fabric with two little straps on the end. Um, these tutorials are all available on the channel as we speak. So if you're going somewhere tropical, doing a last minute summer vacay with the fam, um, this got twisted, but you know what I'm trying to say. You can whip up one of these seriously in a few minutes and have like a super, super cute, um, swim cover up all the details in each of the videos um, and then this week was the last one I posted this one a little bit more advanced only because it uses like a actual sewing pattern I just hacked a button front isn't this a really cool outfit <laughs> really uh, a button front kind of oversized pattern dress pattern um, and then hacked it with this really cute kind of see-through crochet trim all the instructions on how to do this um, and how to like kind of hack your button front dress pattern to be a swim cover up all in that video. Um, this one started out with the Megan Nielsen Darling Ranges dress, which is just such a cute, cute pattern. Um, so that is like my summer series. That's what I, the big tutorials that I did for this summer um, were the swim cover ups. There's four of them. So go check them out. I also had to do a little bit of work for the original sewing and quilt expo that is going down in Raleigh next week. Um, or I guess by the time you guys are watching this later this week, um, I'll be there Thursday and Friday teaching a bunch of classes. One of which is this basic tee. So this is the t-shirt from Love Notions. It's called the classic tee, not the basic tee. It's called the classic tee. I will be kind of doing a serger 101, serger basics, kind of become comfortable using a serger class um, featuring this t-shirt pattern. So I needed to go ahead and make up one. So A, I know how to fit right. B, I know how to teach people how to sew it. <laughs> so I got this, it's really, really good. I love the pattern so much. It fits exactly like I wanted. I did size down one size in the waist and hip. Um, so it's a straight one size. 
I talked about that in the makes video that I posted earlier this month, which is also available on the channel for you to watch right now. So cute little tee. I have a couple more of the same exact fabric. That fabric is perfect for summer weight t-shirts. It is a cotton rayon blend and I know I've sworn off rayon jersey, but this one has more cotton than rayon. And really the only way to find that out is to reach out to the person who is selling it and ask them. Sometimes sites like fabric.com and all of them will have the percentages and so that's how you know. But like I got that from Style Maker Fabrics and the only way I knew that it was gonna be what I wanted is because Michelle was able to tell me, oh yeah, that has more cotton than it does rayon. It's great for t-shirts. She really sold me on it. So if you have a good relationship with a vendor that you use, or you know somewhere that has great customer service like StyleMaker Fabrics, you can reach out and ask them questions like that to make sure that you're getting the fabric exactly like you need for your t-shirt. Jerseys can be just so crazy to shop for online because they can just be so different in terms of weight and clinginess and all of that kind of stuff. So knowing exactly what they're made from really, really helps. All right, the last thing that I want to show you guys is my fix it or nix it. Um, and this is a little fun thing that I'm doing on Instagram where I am kind of pulling from this huge pile of Goodwill purchases that I've gotten over the years that I've wanted to like refashion but just haven't gotten around to it. And I think a lot of the reason why I'm not getting around to it is because I'm having like a block as to what to do with it. So I'm posting the original garment as is, as I purchased it at Goodwill and kind of getting people's input and advice. And everyone's chiming in with lots of really great ideas, which helps me kind of decide what I want to do. So I started out with this like long, straight 90s dress, but it's denim, which I love. And it has um, this really great embroidery on the hem, which I also really loved. So I took the dress, hacked it into a little peplum top, which is adorable. All of this was done by the manufacturer. All of this was done by me. And then I also made a little skirt from the bottom half of the dress that features that really pretty embroidery. So I was able to make like a little two piece set. You can't really wear them together because it's like the peplum plus the elastic skirt is kind of like I don't, a lot of poof here, which I don't really like, but separately they're adorable. I've worn this peplum top with white shorts more times than I can count already. The skirt with the t-shirt that I just showed you guys also in heavy rotation right now. So really, really cool that I was able to get that done. I'm continuing fix it or nix it. So if you want to participate in that, you got to follow me on Instagram. If you're like, I don't have an Instagram. I don't want to start an Instagram. Just get one. You don't have to follow anybody but me. And you can be private and no one will ever find you. And then you can still have all the fun and participate in all the cool things that we're doing over there. I just can't do everything that's in my brain. I can't do it all on YouTube. Just sometimes it doesn't make sense. Um, so it's a, it's a better format over there on Instagram, which is why we're doing it that way. Anyways, all right, so those are all of my makes um, for this month. I have a lot of fun things planned for August as well. Um, so stay tuned for my plans video that will be coming up, I guess in a few days or so. Um, and if you're gonna be at Ra in Raleigh, I cannot wait to meet you. I cannot wait to see you. Um, I'll probably be wearing a lot of the stuff I just showed you. <laughs> well, not the swim cover-ups, but I'll have some of those other things um, in hand. So it's gonna be a fun uh, week. I can't, I can't wait. So uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.